What is there in all the world that can bind a man and a woman together to live all the days of their lives? It is not money. It is not ideology. It is not religion. It is not pleasure. It's not common interest in anything. The only factor that can bind two people together is love. Welcome to this, this very special occasion. You've been invited here to this very beautiful place to witness the joining together of two hearts and make them as one. first found out about Ian, I sat her down on my couch in my apartment <laughs> and I said, are you really serious about this guy? Because <laughs> the reason being, I didn't know how to be there for you if you got hurt. Because when Nana starts crying, there's no knowing when she's going to stop. <laughs> And after that night, that's when I realized she was already invested. There was no changing her mind, Ian. <laughs> Zerana, you want to know how I know Ian was in love with you and he wanted to marry you? Okay. So once in a while, I would call my other brother, Romeo, and my other sister, Suki, from Cali. I'd be like, yo, what's good? How y'all doing? How the puppies? Yo, where's Ian at? Like, you know, I just wanted to say hi. I just want to say what's up to homie. Romeo tells me he's at church. I'm like, I'm like, yo, why? Did something happen? <laughs> okay. Romeo says, nah, 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 no, it's all good. He's been going to church with Zorana every weekend. He's been going to the gym. I hardly see the guy. Mind you, Zorana lived, you know, not too close to Ian, like an hour or something away. Man, I know Ian, bro. That's the only way he would drive an hour plus is for some polo or for some Nike, some Adidas sneakers or something. So it was at that point I tell myself, this guy's in love, dude. Zarana, he came home to the he came home to Jersey for the holidays um, after he just had been working at his new job, and he was in my room just laying in my bed, just like staring at the ceiling. And I walked in and I was like, "What's wrong?" And he was like, "I'm just thinking about this girl at work." And I was like, "Oh, I was like, okay." And he was like, "I'm gonna marry her." Ian, will you have this woman to be your wife and will you pledge your loyalty to her in all love and honor and all duty and service and all faith and tenderness and to live with her to cherish her according to the ordinance of God in the holy bond of marriage? I do. I will. I will.
Zorana, will you have this man to be your husband and will you pledge your loyalty to him in all love and honor and all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness to live with him and to cherish him according to the ordinance of God and the holy bond of marriage? I do and I will. <laughs> If you guys know Nana, she's very picky about men. Very picky. In high school, her dream man was, I don't know if you guys know, Lil Bow Wow. That, that, was, that, was, her, that was her man of choice. So, you know, as uh, our years progressed in high school, she's stuck. I know what I want in a man. I know what I'm going to marry. I'm going to marry a tall, light-skinned basketball player. And you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know, God only gives you what you need and not what you want. to be an older brother to us, but since Jamie and I were the only girls, sometimes you had to be our Ade as well. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the time Jamie asked you to braid her hair before school, <laughs> or every time you washed our butts when we were growing up, <laughs> or all the unsolicited boy advice that you gave us. I'm happy to say we hereby release you from your ATE duties, and rightfully so. ATE Zorana, we love you and are proud to call you our sister. You've already done a much better job than Kuya has. Cheers to the couple. Thank you.